An effort to measure heat and humidity in four local cities. They're hoping to better understand how extreme heat disproportionately impacts those communities. Alexandra Leslie joins us now to explain more details on what's being called the Rhode Island Heat Watch program that just got underway this morning. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Kate. Well, community volunteers will go out in four hour blocks starting at 6 a.m. through midnight to find out which areas are not cooling off overnight. This is happening in Providence, Central Falls, East Providence, and right here in Pawtucket. So how does it all work? The Rhode Island Department of Health is telling us that volunteers will use specially designed thermal sensors mounted on cars, and this will collect ambient air temperature and humidity data. The sensors will then be shipped to a partner heat watch agency, and they'll combine the data with satellite imagery to create high resolution heat maps. The Department of Health tells us rising temperatures are exacerbated in urban areas due to man made materials that absorb sunlight and reduce green space. In the U.S., over 600 people die from extreme heat every year, but there are simple things you can do to try and stay safe. Making sure that you take shade breaks if you are out in the sun. Um, and then just, just paying attention to your own body and, and, and your own symptoms um, so that if you feel a little bit off, you can make a change. Um, you get indoors, get in air conditioning, get hydrated to, to help yourself out. Now, Rhode Island will be the first state to collect this kind of heat distribution data, and there are 14 cities participating in total. Live in Pawtucket, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.